Welcome to Tech City. This is a tutorial on data structures that is stack. I am solving a problem from hacker rank that is maximum element. Hmm? In this problem, we'll have to pre, uh, these are the we'll have to print the maximum element in the remaining stack. Hmm? Now there are three type of commands here. One, two, three. The first command is meant to uh, push a element that is x here. You can see one x means we'll have to push this x element into the stack. Two means you'll have to remove that x element or top element from the stack and three means you have to print the maximum uh, um, uh, element of the stack that is maximum value of the element in the st remaining stack hmm. the sample input is here you can see the 10 is meant for the number of uh, the queries there are you can see the number of queries here and, uh, and if there is one they will be associated with one number that number has to be pushed two means the top element has to be removed one again push 20, 2 means remove, 1 means again push 26, 1 means again 20, now 2 means you will have to remove this 20, huh? then 3 means the top, that is the maximum element in the stack, as of now there is only one element in the stack, so that is 26, the which will be the maximum, so you print it, again you push 1, 91, so that will be in the top, third 3, now when you are printing the last one, there are two elements, 26 and 91, and uh, when you are, you are supposed to print 2091 as that is the maximum element. That's what is the query goes on. Now, how to solve this problem? Now, pushing and popping is not a big deal. Huh? But if you try to print the maximum element in the remaining stack, if you try to loop the stack once more, it will increase the time complexity. To solve this, we we'll need to use, to avoid this uh, looping while, while printing, uh, I will uh, use the structures and uh, store this maximum element in each level of stack elements like that i will use it i'll show you what i'll do it here actually the code is already written i'll just remove the uh, delete the complete code complete code okay then i will start writing the code i'll increase the font size okay i'll come down here include std Sorry, std 5 h fine int int main okay. int main come down here here I'll declare a structure structure struct huh? str stack I'll call okay here I'll come out int I'll call el then int max there are two two components of this structure there will be two components you can see two components in this structure then I'll write a type type def struct struct st ur style struct str stk stack hmm? here for same thing stack okay that's it I'll come down here hmm? int n equal to 0 scan f percentage d and then m percent n okay. then uh, what I'll do is I'll declare uh, str Yes, T A C K. I'll declare a array of it actually. Yes, equal to again same thing. Yes, T or yes, T A C K pointer. I'll put here. Then my lock I'll use my lock. Then N that is this is size of this multiplied by size of str 
yes t a c k stack so this one i created a memory in the heap hmm. now this uh, okay sorry sorry so this i created now uh, now i will say while w i n minus minus number of queries huh? so and also i'll put a q where is q q equal to zero then top equal to minus one hmm? i declared it hmm. top here and also i'll declare max max equal to zero so declared max also now scan f scan f percent sd m percent q okay scan f oh yeah, okay then now i'll come down that is a q has been assigned if hmm, q equal to one hmm, push hmm, i'll write the code for push then e l s e if if it is q equal to two then pop right then else if q equal to three print i have to print okay these are the things i have to do now i have to push okay i'll write the code for pushing now now i have to put into this uh, yes so yes dot the i will increase the increment increase the top dot el that is what is it i given stack el yeah equal to okay it is not q here okay sorry hold on so if it is there yes equal to it then i'll come down here and i have to get the again i have to get the scan f scan f percent sd because the say next one will be the element that will be uh, I'll put here yeah, the element equal to zero. This one I'll take it here only. So I am percent EL. Fine. I am percent EL will come here. So that will be EL. Hmm. Now before I have to set the value of the max. So for that what I'll do is if hmm, EL is more than the max. Hmm, then i'll say max should be equal to el hmm? then i'll add yes top dot max equal to this max so this is how i have to set the push what i did is if the query is one i rescanned it took this uh, uh, this one whenever, whenever there is a one query is there there is one more element here this one i'll be taking in this scan and i'm putting it to the top el and if the el is more than the max and the max will be set here to this max x dot top to max now i'll go to pop in pop what i'll do before removing popping out yes dot top dot el equal to I'll say null. Yes. Dot. Top. Max. Equal to. Null. Now. Yes. Now I'll reset the max value. I'll tell you why I'm setting the reset the max value. Yes. Minus. Minus. Top. Dot. Max. So whenever it is pushing, whenever it is pushing, the stack will contain the, the maximum value below that compared to the below the stack. Whatever, whatever is the stack below that, all that will be 
compared to that. I'll just show it here in a diagram. I'll just draw this diagram here. Just in it now. So what happens is you can see here. This is a stack. So if the query is one and ninety-seven, if the and two is there, so and now this is the query. You can say one is there, then the ninety-seven is the value. So when our ninety-seven is being pushed here, ninety-seven, the two things in this the stack. One is the value, and and the other one is the max one. This is EL. This is max part. This one is max. This is EL. Now, this is the max value. Now, when when two is called, when two is called, this is taken out. The whole thing is taken out. Huh? Now, again, again the next value is. If you come to the next value, so next value. Two will be taken. When two, one comes, one comes here in this. One comes, one comes here. Here instead of ninety, it will be twenty here. This twenty will be post here, like this. Huh? So this is the max. This is the element like that. One twenty will be post here. So that's what happens. Similarly, when this comes here, so what this the stack contains will this max value of the stack will be it will be containing only the maximum value below that compared to the all the stack elements below that compared to them that will be the area and this is the max. So for example, if there is one more value which is a 91, 91 is there then the value here it will be 91 max also hmm? compared to this 20 will be there like that the that's why we need to pop it we need to pop while popping we have to reset the max reset the max and if you want to print you can just print print f here when you are supposed to print print without looping i am able to print the max value you can see yes top dot max this what i'll do hmm? this what i'll do and this is lcm Last, huh? I'll just run the code. There are some errors. Twelve uh, warning implicit declaration of the function malloc. I'll have to include the library here. Include. One of dot h. I did not include. That's why it's causing problem. The error is if el is more than. Expected, so I not put. Yeah, here I not put semicolon. Hmm. One more compilation error. Twenty six solution. Twenty six. Where is it?
this if will be over here else without if okay and as i put it okay oh so many hai 28 Running assignment makes integer from a pointer without the cast. Yes, dot el. Otherwise, I just take them or just run them. Thirty-three. Mm -hmm. May else without you found them. Yeah, I have to put uh, uh, this one for you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Now it will come. Hmm? Congratulations. Uh, it has see. It has come, and I'll submit. Accepted. So it has accepted now. So I'll post this uh, uh, code in a uh, GitHub. we can go through that thank you kindly subscribe to my channel